Welcome back to the table and a little bit more board game news. This is going to be a piece of news that I think a lot of people are going to be very excited about. This guy in particular. Me, a little less so. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Heat, but I, I know everyone out there. I am the, you're the, big, the biggest fan of Heat. I don't know about that. I, I am a big fan of Heat. But I do know there's a ton of people who love Heat. I liked Heat quite a bit. It was probably one of, if not the biggest hit last year. Oh, yeah. Well, they've not announced. I think it's been leaked because I don't. I haven't seen any official I mean, announcements. But there's a new expansion coming. We knew it was coming. Yes. Like they've admitted to working on it, so it's not like a huge leak. No, it's not a huge leak because I think even someone who's on their team has been on another video talking about it. Yeah, but we didn't know details. So details have leaked, including what the box cover is supposedly going to look like. Yeah, and the name, and at the least title. the French name, and I think it either translates to torrential rain or heavy rain which i think heavy rain is what they're going when they've talked about it in the past online they've called it heavy rain yeah so i assume that's the um, what the american title will be we'll see we'll see and there may be, it, who, maybe there's some copyright or trademark issues with heavy rain because i, I know there's some games called heavy there rain is out there was there. a movie and a video game both called heavy rain yes. so uh but it's definitely thematic i mean the, the title of the game is thematic for what it was offering first of all i mean it was very clear uh, and it's still clear in the box that there's room for more cars. Yes. I think there's room in the box for like eight cars. And this expansion is bringing us up to seven. We, so I, again, based on the details we've seen, I do know in an interview, and this was a few months ago, they talked about at least one more driver or one more car, hopefully two. Well, But I think it feels like the closer it's come, it's probably just going to be one. I mean, that might mean that they've got two expansions in the pipeline. One to add the seventh driver. One to add the eighth I mean, driver. why wouldn't you do it that way? I mean, sure. Get everyone buying all the stuff. But we do have some details that we can yeah. share. Uh, first of all, it comes with a double-sided board that's going to, on one side, have a Mexico track. The other side is going to have a Jap Japan track. Yep. The thing about both of these tracks is that torrential rain or heavy rain because there's going to be sections of the track that have standing water. And from what I understand, those standing water sections only come into play if it is raining. Yeah. You know, if it's not raining, then those don't come into it. But if it's raining, those parts of the track represent those parts of the track. If you ever watch racing, that gets a little collection of water. And those sections become much harder to shift in. All shifting, I believe, costs one more heat yeah. to do in those sections. So, yeah, and that's that's cool. And that's those are specific to that map. Of course, with two new maps, that definitely uh, does mean we've got some new event cards as well, because you can use these maps with any of the previous seasons. If you play season modes, they'll now be represented with their own events, their own weather tokens and things like that. And a new season as well. It was like 1934. 1964. 1964 season. I think 1934 might have been before <laughs> these types of cars. Uh, 1964 season. So a new season that's going to come with its own like season breakdown uh, and i think that i don't i don't remember exactly how many seasons came in the yeah original, you said you were the biggest fan he's not I the think biggest it might, fan i think it was all. four years in the base box it but might have been is, three though this is but, one additional year yep. uh and like ryan said those seasons come with new upgrades new events and some of those upgrades they and there could have been some translation issues with the video the one video i Probably, watched i think of, so of their language but um it sounds like there's either a new uh, type of icon, which we know that to be a fact, and maybe a new type of upgrade card. Yeah, I think, I mean, because we really only have, we have two types of upgrade cards, the garage cards and the uh, sponsorship cards. And even within the garage cards, there's the basic garage cards and the advanced garage cards. I think this is just going to be, I think they were talking about the icon. and uh, Probably. Because this is something we've never seen before. And for me, this is awesome. Yeah, he uh, was saying this, this is going to really this is gonna be a help game changer. a lot. So there's a card icon that's a little water droplet. This is a different type of cooldown that allows you to cool down heat cards from your discard pile. Yeah. If you're a fan, get ready for this. Directly back Which into is, your I pile I mean, that is heat. normally where they go. Yeah, but not straight, not straight from the well, discard pile. Well, no, because pile. traditionally those, those cooldown cards are just from your hands. And you have a lot of turns where you're like, you, you, you question whether or not you should use some heat because you don't know when they're going to cycle back into your hand. Having them, having this icon means if you have one of these in your hand right now. You could now, play a heat to do something and then play that. Yeah, you could. And you then can, just bump it right you over. You could use heat happily knowing that you've got these cooldown cards, these special, well, it won't be called cooldown 
just because of the... But it is a style of cool but, deck. Also don't know how many cards there are. It's not like you're going to have a handful of these. We haven't seen the rules either, though. No. So it might be, because this water droplet represents the rain, you know, the whole this whole Probably. heavy rain, this cooling idea. Cooling things down. Cooling things down, I imagine. So I, I'm wondering, because this feels very, very powerful. Uh -huh. I'm wondering if that icon has a specific use. Like as in, you can only use it if you're in a rainy area of the board, or you can only use, like... I that don't know. That could be the case because some other icons do have restrictions. Um, a little bit. Like some cards can only be used when you're going around a corner. Like their effect doesn't matter if you're not going around a corner. So this effect might not matter unless you're in a rainy area. Unless Who it's knows? raining. That's right. possible. It's, the video I saw didn't make it seem that way, but that's entirely possible. I mean, they I didn't, didn't know say that it at all. I didn't know that existed in the original Well, game there's like just that. like some of those upgrades only matter. Like they might change the the way that you take a corner or like they might give you extra slipstream bonus. Like they're all very, uh, they're based on other things that are happening on the board. And if you're not slipstreaming, then you just don't get that extra bonus. Yeah, I will so say it's possible. I'm not, like I said, the biggest fan of heat, but having seen this expansion, having now researched it and talked it about it a little bit, uh, it makes me want to play I'm, it I'm excited for the new maps. Because, I mean, I might try uh, getting heat back to the table. Uh, some of the people in my family weren't giant fans, which probably had a, the most impact on my yeah. desire to play it again. Uh, but I definitely want to get back to the table. This one is supposed to be loosely, at least again in the video I saw, the person involved said somewhere between Essen, which obviously wasn't the case, and mid next year. I so I'm so. guessing we're going to be seeing this maybe in the first quarter of next year. I hope it comes early. We're celebrating. We do a thing on the Indy 500 where we're going to play. We play a big heat tournament oh, on the it, Indy 500. I bet it'll be by then. I hope it's out because I think like that is a lot of fun. That is a great excuse to get heat out. To That's just, true. To play and watch the Indy 500 at the same time. Well, I mean, you, we're local, so, you know. Yes, we are local, <laughs> so that makes sense. There's plenty of people around here who love Indy 500. <laughs> I am also not one of those either. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions at all about the game, we can't answer anymore. Yeah. We've shared every detail we know of. Yeah. But as we get more, we'll get down in the comments and share what we can. You please get down there, ask us anything you want. Until next time, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and yep. we'll see you then.